And welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Madisonville Marine. Since 1976, folks, there has never been a better place to buy a boat. People come from Georgia. People come from Middle Tennessee. And when it comes to their website, people buy from them and have them ship boats to California, to Florida. Now, why do you think that is? Why would somebody in California order a boat from Madisonville Marine? One, they've got a better selection of multiple boats than anybody else. But pricing, man, they take care of you. They're really good. Madisonville Marine, uh, no better place to buy a boat. I say it, I mean it, it's true. Uh, check out Joe Special and his team down there, Highway 411 North in Madisonville this week. Okay, folks, last summer, Nick Saban uh, revealed that his freshman quarterback had about $800,000 in NIL deals lined up. And then everybody started talking about this stuff. Spencer, Spencer Rattler's deal at Oklahoma, Ohio State, even though the NCAA said, now the schools can't cut deals, Ohio State came out and said, yeah, we've cut these deals. Kentucky announces the, the cryptocurrency deal for all their basketball players. Texas announces that their offensive linemen all get $50,000 a year if they're on scholarship. On and on and on, you had, uh, even locally, you had uh, Spire Sports. Tennessee's collective did an interview or did a, uh, a story with David Oven here at The Athletic. So everybody's talking about this stuff. Then suddenly, a month or two ago, Jimbo Fisher gets, gets all bowed up over it. <laughs> like, oh, money didn't have anything to do with our recruiting class. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Everybody knows what kind of money you threw. So he didn't like it. Then Lane Kiffin cried about, well, some schools have more than we do. <laughs> now you don't see as many people saying the positives. You still get Saban or Dabo Swinney last week complaining about it. There are people complaining, crying about it, but there aren't as many people stepping out to say, look at the money we've got for our guy. And I just wonder, it's legal. It seems illegal because we're, we're used to looking at the other system. But is there something, David, I'll start with you. Is there something that has changed to why collectives, uh, we had a collective that was all fired up about coming on this show. Now, they don't want to talk anymore. Something changed. Why, it, and a lot of it changed after the athletic story on the $8 million kid, who many people believe is Tennessee's new quarterback. Why have the collectives, the schools, the, all of the positive talk about, look what we can do, the lure of the money mm -hmm. is now not being talked about, and it's now just people crying about how bad it is. I think one major thing, I've spent a lot of the last couple months talking to a ton of collectives all over the place, and one thing that has come up is there is a sort of a line. There are some collectives who want to aggressively recruit players. We, you know, Spire talked about that in their interviews, you know, very aggressive with their money. Some people believe that is buying players and that is a recruiting inducement. And there are a lot of collectives who do some of the same things, but their focus is guys that are on campus. They're not going to put that kind of money in guys that are not on their campus yet. Now, by the letter of the law, it's not a recruiting inducement. If you have quid pro quo, you can't really prove that it's an inducement. Is it an inducement in spirit? For people who believe that, I have a hard time disagreeing with them. But is the NCAA going to do anything about enforcement? The question is, or the answer is probably no, because for a number of reasons. The Austin case, they're sort of stripped down, all these other things. So I think that's a big part of it, is that there's sort of a quiet kind of war going on between collectives for the people who, you can call it a high horse, you can call it whatever you want, that say, we're not going to get in there and quote unquote buy players. I had a guy this week compared to human trafficking. And then oh, you have, please. yeah, I know. Grief. You have the people that are, are <laughs> going, kids. that are going to aggressively go after these people and say, hey, we believe that you're worth one, two million dollars, and that's the going rate for a lot of five stars right now. What I don't get is these things are set up to recruit kids. It's all about recruitment. That's why everyone was talking about money. Spire Sports, in your, ar in your article, talked about the fact that a quarterback at Tennessee should be able to make seven figures. Then, then Tennessee gets a kid, and there's a rumor <laughs> that it's seven figures. But um, why then would you go completely silent Sp <laughs> with them specifically? I just wonder, uh, in terms of why there's no pub publicity around the Nico deal. The Athletics sent another reporter to town just last week for the seven, in, seven on seven deal that Nico was in town for just to cover it, and the whole story was written. Now, if he is the guy that signed, I mean, please, you're not sending somebody here. The Athletic knows who it is, and the Athletic sent a guy here, but he wrote his article to say, if he is the guy. My question is, if, if the whole push was, you know, we'd get a quarterback this much money, and now that a quarterback has come, 
Shh. I wonder if that's the family saying, we don't want that much pressure on our kids, silence it. Could it be Josh Heupel's like Jimbo Fisher and doesn't want anybody saying that his recruiting isn't all just hard work and sweat? Could it be that UT is worried about the optics? I mean, you are in the middle of an NCAA deal. The rumor was you were handing out cash in McDonald's bags. It may be perfectly legal to have a collective doing some of this stuff, but is that part of it? I just wonder, not only at Tennessee, but at all of these other places, it went from Recruiting inducement, recruiting, we got a lure, we got a lure, we got a lure. Don't look at our lures. <laughs> what? People what, are still, what it's still very active, and it's still very much happening uh, all over the place. And so people can raise a stink about it. And I'll tell you, generally, when I've talked to people, the people who don't want to get into the recruiting game are the less well-funded collectives. So how much of it is, well, we just love these NCAA rules, and how much of it is sour grapes, I think is open for interpretation. But ultimately... You know, I really do believe that it's generally, you know, people can talk about it, they don't want to do it, but I think it's generally heading toward, you know, everybody's going to be paying before too long. Right now, sure. the going rate for five stars is seven figures. I period. have a theory. Can period. we ex uh, you say We believe theories in theories. We do believe in theories? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's uh, because, I'm going to give one example. Let's say Nico is getting $8 million. I don't know that Tennessee wants uh, Taven Jackson to know what he's getting because Taven Jackson may not be getting much of anything. I think a lot of it comes down to schools don't want to know what the individual players on the team are making so that they have to pacify those players. Mm -hmm. That guy's getting $8 million, where's mine? Yeah, right. I think that's yeah. a part of it. And it's also, guys, isn't it the, the kitchen table, the living rooms where a lot of the recruiting goes on and somebody's parent says, well, now we heard so-and-so yes. is getting this. Where's my piece I of the pie? That's, it that's what I think it goes yeah. back to, that's man, right there. And why did the Wyoming receiver go to Texas? Got a better deal, right? Yeah. I think. The yeah. bottom line is the dollar sign, yeah. Sterling Hinton. Says. Well, and I also, you know, I, I just wonder if it's it's also the fact that you're worried about who knows this stuff, but how many of these collectives are as well-funded as they claim? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if, if we asked this a few weeks ago, if you're giving one guy $10 million, how many millions do you have for the rest of your class? Mm -hmm. I, and, and do some of these guys, are they already promising things they can't deliver? We've talked about that on the show. Will that come to, to pass? So some of this stuff's pretty interesting. All right, when we come back, how do you treat these guys? I mean... For years, we've tried to dive. Fans, if you drop a ball, fans are going to let you have it on Twitter and everything else. We let you have it, but we try and soften it. <laughs> we try and soften it. We're not really ugly about it because they're amateurs. Well, they're not anymore. How should we treat a star player who's coming in here and we know he's making millions? We'll discuss that. Come on back. <laughs> 